Hey ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about another classic jailbreak tweak today. This one is Lockdown Pro. Strangely enough, I've never actually used Lockdown Pro before. It's been out for a while, I've seen it around. I've heard good things about it, but I've never taken the time to use it. The main reason being is that I just don't care about iPhone security that much. Now, if you're one of those persons that lets others use your iPhone, maybe to play games or watch movies, etc., then Lockdown Pro is a no-brainer because it protects individual apps, it can protect individual folders and, and things of that nature. Uh, I already have it installed. Let me just show you the settings app for Lockdown Pro here. Okay, now to log in. Now here's the settings section in your settings app for Lockdown Pro. Uh, you can check all your different locked and unlocked applications. Uh, so you can check your locked applications. You can see which ones are locked. Those are my locked applications. You can um, check all applications and it'll just load up all your apps and then it'll show which ones are locked and which ones aren't locked. And that takes a while because I have tons of apps on my phone. But you can see there which ones are locked, which ones are unlocked. Okay, and if you want to unlock all apps in one fell swoop, you can do that with this button here. So just tap unlock all applications. And then if you check locked applications now, nothing's going to be there because you just unlocked them all. Okay, all right. And then you have some settings down here and you can lock the settings. So for instance, when I first came into here, I had to enter my passcode. Um, you can, let's see, lock all folder apps. You can... Um, let's see what other settings we have in here. Have a numeric password. There's delay lock, um, et cetera. I mean, it's a lot of different options here. And one of the best options, I think, is the SP settings toggle. And I think that costs another 99 cents. You can get an SP settings toggle to quickly enable Lockdown Pro or disable it. So instead of having to go into your settings app and enabling Lockdown, you can just swipe uh, and enable Lockdown via SP settings. So that's really nice. Let me show you actually how this works though in action on my home screen here. All right, so I'm gonna swipe over. Here's my folder that I keep pretty much everything in. Um, all my apps and things are kind of just put into here, my utilities, etc. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just lock a specific folder. I'm gonna lock the jailbreak folder here. So I'm just gonna tap and hold to bring up wiggle mode. And then you see all these lock icons there. All you need to do, is to tap one of these lock icons and it'll turn red once you enter your password, of course. Okay, so now it's red. All right, I hit the home button. Now I can still go into that folder because I haven't enabled lockdown mode yet. See, I can still access that folder because lockdown mode is not enabled. So if I go out, I can come back in, you know, go in. Okay, but if I enable lockdown mode, go back into settings, lockdown pro, enable lockdown, which is down here, and just turn that on. And now I'll go back out. Watch what happens when I try to go back into that folder. It's asking for my passcode. So if I enter a passcode wrong, of course, it just won't let you in. All you need to do is enter the passcode correctly and it'll let you right in. So there you go. And I could access that. Well, I actually have it, so it resets every time. But you can make it so it'll, you know, you can keep going back into it without having to reset your password. There's an option for that. Now, what if I don't want to have to keep entering my password? What if I just want to unlock all apps quickly? I want to do it quickly. Now I have to go into settings app, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, you can do that too. Notice now I'm in lockdown mode. It's locked down. But all I have to do is swipe SP settings, open SP settings and then disable lockdown, which is right here. There's a toggle for that. And then I'll ask for my password. Now lockdown is disabled via SP settings. So you tap that, get right in, go out, tap it again, go right in. So folks, that's Lockdown Pro. It's a perfect jailbreak tweak for those of you who like to share their iPhone, like to let others play games, maybe watch movies, things like that, and not have to worry about others, you know, snooping around your iPhone or even just messing things up, you know, messing up the configuration. You don't want people going into your settings app, for instance. Well, you can lock down the settings app. So once again, Lockdown Pro can be purchased for $2.99 on the Cydia store. Let me know what you think about it. I'll be interested to hear what you have to say. This is Jeff with jailbreakmovies.com.
Hope you enjoyed that video. This next video is of a jailbreak tweak called Lock Screen Clock Hide. It's a classic tweak. It allows you to hide the clock on your iPhone's lock screen. It can be very handy in certain situations. Check it out. 